Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about the new Environment Manager service that was pre-announced by Rafe and give a quick demo at the end. When we talk about complex Kubernetes environments, they can include more than just a cluster or namespace. For example, a load balancer or an object store or certain IAM configurations. For the developer to have to figure out all the different dependencies to spin up these kind of complex apps, it can be very, very challenging. And the question we want to answer is how can platform teams also provide a golden path to spinning up these environment uh, test beds so that the developer follows a set path and is, not, and is following the certain organizational requirements, cost requirements, security, and more. In Rafe, the platform engineering team can create an environment template, which represents a blueprint to create one or more of these dev environments, for example. Ultimately, the platform team defines these resources in Terraform, for example, VPC configuration in Terraform, a Kubernetes cluster resource in Terraform, and bundles these different resource templates into a single environment blueprint or environment template. They can also define different uh, policies, uh, cost configurations, and which developers get access to this environment blueprint for a developer self-service model. Once these templates are shared with the de development projects, the developer has the opportunity to spin up the environment using a uh, IDP like Backstage or the Rafi UI or GitOps. From then on, the, the developer, once they have this environment deployed, can simply point their workloads to spin up in the new environments. It's that simple. Let's look at an example where we're provisioning an environment with the EKS cluster, ElastiCache, and RDS. First, what the platform team will do is define these resources in Terraform. So for example, I have the EKS cluster resource in Rafe defined here as well as other resources that can be defined. For example, ElastiCache. Next, what I'm going to do is create resource templates. And these resource templates are already defined. And when we look, we have the repository it's pointing to uh, in our GitHub, uh, certain Terraform configurations. We can define hooks, for example, uh, infra cost hook to measure how much this elastic cache resource is going to cost and other different variables and contexts. Once we define the resource templates for all of our uh, resources in the environment, we can bundle those together in an environment template. Notice that we call the resources dynamic because they will be provisioned once the environment is provisioned. And we say that, hey, the RDS and the ElastiCache are dependent on the cluster being deployed. Now let's take a look at provisioning the environment. I'm going to call this KubeCon Demo ENV and point to the latest um, environment template version. As we can see here, the different resources are starting to be deployed. So for example, the EKS resource will have different phases in Terraform that are starting. Fast forwarding a little bit, now that we can see our environment provisioning has succeeded. And we can see some of the uh, hooks getting called, for example, the infra cost one. And these are all configurable by the platform engineering team. They can configure pre uh, life cycle hooks, post life cycle hooks, and they can configure that against uh, Rafe phases or the Terraform phases, for example, init, plan, et cetera. Now it's fairly simple for us to deploy workloads into the environment. We just point to our environment in the appropriate cluster and click Save. And so this creates a really nice self-service model for developers where they don't have to worry about figuring out all the dependencies and can simply point their work. Finally, the workload is published and we can see that we can just access the workload 
from the ingress, which was deployed on the cluster. Thanks for watching this demo.